Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, we still doing the Super Bowl idea recipes, or however you want to say it. I got another one here, y'all. That's so quick, so easy. Might not even have to go to a commercial. Old school uh, devil ham spread, a devil ham salad, however you want to say it. Very simple, very easy. Simple ingredient. I got some diced ham here already diced up. I'm gonna pulse it up here in the food processor. Some sour cream, onions, mayonnaise, and sweet relish. That's it, y'all. That's all it is to this thing here. So let's get started on this easy, awesome recipe here. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm back here. Okay. What I'm going to do, we're going to put this in the food processor here. Toss this around, y'all. I want to get a good. My hands are clean. I washed them yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday I washed them. A lot of people ain't gonna get that joke, but it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna pulse this here. It's around in here. We're gonna throw the onions in there and pulse them as well. Now I don't like this really, really smooth. I like some texture to it. Just a regular honey ham I bought, y'all. It's like one pound. Okay, we're gonna throw our onions in here and get them pulsed in there as well. Let's see here. Don't get the onions really incorporated in there, y'all. Really incorporated in here. You want a little body to it, but I don't want it. I'll show y'all the texture I'm looking for in just, just a minute here. Okay, that's about it here, y'all. I think that's about it. here. All right. That's the texture I'm looking for right there, y'all. That's the texture I'm looking for. Y'all see that? Okay, now, I got a little cream cheese here, and I'm going to add the mayonnaise to the cream cheese. A half a cup or so, y'all. I'm gonna mix them together here, and then we're gonna add it to the ham. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make it nice and creamy. Some people add straight mayonnaise to their devil ham salad spread or whatever. I, I figured out you put a little cream cheese in it. It just takes it to the it takes it to the next level, y'all. Takes it to the next level of goodness. Okay. Kind of move this around in there, y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm telling you, this is one of the okay, y'all. This is a Super Bowl party favorite at my house. You get these ham sound, and then you're supposed to eat it with crackers. But let me tell y'all, let me put my relish in there. Move my mayonnaise out of the way. We're going to put our sweet relish. And that's it. To me, it's like a, a ham tuna, like a tuna fish sandwich without the eggs. Put the relish in there, y'all. Without the eggs, that's what it tastes like. Move that around in there, y'all. Like I say, some people take it 
and make a sandwich with it. You know, you just, it, it's supposed to be eaten with crackers. Now, I'm going to check the salt. Usually, I don't need to put salt. Of course, you know why. Because ham is already salty. See how easy that was put together, y'all? Look at that. Okay, we're going to give it a little taste here. Let's see if we need to add any salt. We shouldn't, but we'll see here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We don't need to add no salt. Look at that, y'all. Devil ham spread. So let me get this set up like I would do it for a real party. We come back, test it out. Got to prove to y'all how good it is. Old school devil ham salad. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Let me get me a, a case knife here. Look at this here, y'all. Telling you. Now, you know, I just made this. When I make ham salad for, like I say, a party or whatever, I'll make it the day before. Because as this thing set up overnight, it's going to be twice as good as it is now. Because all them, and it, all that flavor and all that going to absorb together. And that cream cheese, of course, is going to set up and solidify more than it is now. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Nice and creamy and whatever. But so I made, made it today. I'll have to show y'all. But see how this spread, it's going to be a more a little thicker spread than it is right now. Look at that. But don't get me wrong, it's good like it is now. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you, I got some friends and neighbors that will actually take a bread, croissant, whatever laying around. And make a sandwich out of it. Like a tuna fish salmon. Of course, it's just ham instead of tuna fish. But anyway, another simple, easy, quick, last minute. You want something last minute? But like I said, I suggest you make it the day before. If you make it, it makes it it's so much. Or early in the morning as well. And let the cream cheese firm back up. So anyway, let me close your video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024? Stop wishing, start doing Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Super Bowl. Love y'all. Bye.